Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Keo Daikin and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys how to quickly set up your Orange Pi 5 to wireless connections in your house. Now, uh, this particular board just came out. Um, there really isn't a lot of options out there as far as using a wireless adapter. You can invest in one of these things, but sometimes these things are a hassle because with these kind of boards, you wanna make sure that you can use a wireless adapter uh, that doesn't require any drivers or any form of installation. And sometimes these become much of a hassle. And so one of the things I wanna accomplish in this video today is show you how to get quickly set up using Wi-Fi, the cheapest possible expense possible, using something that you already have in your house. And that is called creating a bridge. And as you can see, I have my Orange Pi 5 hooked up to the back of my computer. That's the little yellow cable right there. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. You know what time it is. All right, so I've been doing this little trick on the internet since, ooh man, back in 2007, 2008. In fact, when I first started doing it, uh, companies, telecommunication companies such as like Verizon, AT&T, whatnot, they used to sell these little MacBooks where you can get internet access off of them. And so back then, if people thought it was impossible to maybe get the internet directly off of those little uh, mobile devices, there were little laptops that had uh, internet access built in. And so it was possible to share the wireless connection from those devices with other network enabled uh, devices. And so um, if you do have a computer or a laptop, we're gonna go over here to the desktop. And as you can see, um, I'm still playing around compiling different uh, drivers, uh, control controller drivers and emulators uh, for the Orange Pi 5. And so the quickest and easiest way to do this is make sure you have your ethernet cable. You want to go ahead and plug that in. And then, of course, you want to plug the other end to the back of your computer. That's really simple. You guys should know how to do that. And I think the easiest way to probably do this is if you have a laptop because that is mobile. But if you do have a desktop computer next to your workstation, this will also work as well. So what you want to do is you want to go into your network connections and you want to click on. Obviously, mine is already open. You want to find the Ethernet port on the back of your computer. Now, some of you guys may only have one. Some may have two. I think I have like three or four uh, on the back of mine. And so you want to select the connection and you also want to highlight it with your Wi-Fi connection. You will need to have a Wi-Fi antenna uh, for your laptop or your desktop computer. You want to highlight both of them. And then what you want to do is you want to right click and you wanna hit an option called Add to Bridge. Now, mine is already done. That's basically how I've been uh, compiling with this. And uh, this is really the one of the cheapest, easiest options to do. I would rather still have a, you know, actual USB adapter, but you know, this works just as well. So what you wanna do is go ahead and hit Add to Bridge. It takes a few moments. And what this allows you to do is allows the Wi-Fi connection or the internet access to pass through the uh, computer and feed it in through your network adapter. In fact, I've used this for my Xbox uh, many years ago. Um, I think when the Xbox 360s uh, came out, I had an Xbox that didn't have Wi-Fi capability and I was in a room that didn't have it. So I just used my laptop computer, fed my uh, Xbox into that way creates a pass through and it works really, really well. And so what you'll get is you'll get this new connection called Network Bridge. So this is the third collect, uh, connection that you'll get. You'll get a little box like this. And so what this will allow you to do is get Wi-Fi internet on any type of device. So again, I'm using it right now on my Orange Pi 5. This will work on your PS5, your Xbox 360, uh, any other type of networkable device that doesn't have Wi-Fi access and you do have a device next to you that does have Wi-Fi. Now you can't do this with your Xbox because that only has one ethernet port. But actually, I've never tried it. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe you might be able to do something like that with the Xbox Series S. I don't have one. Devin decided to try. But this does work on a, uh, your Windows-enabled PC. And so um, I have two Wi-Fi signals here. And currently, uh, this is network bridge with my 5G here in the house. And currently, the computer 
is on the two gigabyte, uh, the two gigahertz uh, spectrum uh, here in the house. And so uh, this is what's working for me. And so uh, this is uh, really working well. And so I thought I'd just show you guys this quick tip because I know a lot of people are uh, trying to get internet access for their Orange Pi devices. But again, this will work for any other type of device. It would work for a TV uh, that doesn't have Wi-Fi but has uh, Ethernet or it would work for your Xbox. It could work for uh, another computer. If you guys have an older laptop that doesn't have internet in the house, doesn't have the Wi-Fi adapter, but it does have that Ethernet port, you, it allows you to daisy chain the internet off of your the back of your PC to the other device by using the wireless connectivity from the computer. So I hope that kind of explains some things uh, for you guys. Hope you guys find this tutorial uh, really, really easy. It's really simple to do. Again, select your Ethernet adapter and then of course uh, highlight it along with the Wi-Fi. And then of course you want to hit add to bridge. And again, Mine already says remove from bridge because I've already done this. And so it will create this new one called network bridge. And I've talked about a little bit about this before here on the channel. Uh, this may also work or should work also for your RK one up units. If you guys uh, have an RK one up unit, uh, let's say in a, in a room, you want to update the system and you have a computer nearby or maybe you have your laptop, you could also daisy chain the internet off of your laptop uh, with your arcade one up unit and you should get much better internet access compared to their standard Wi-Fi adapter that is built in. Hope that helps for you guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out and have a great day. Bye-bye.